Chapter 3, Picture Books. What are picture books? A picture book tells a story through illustrations and or text. There are five groups of picture books. Early childhood books, wordless books, picture books with minimal text, beginning readers books, and picture story books. There are also four important people in the world of picture books. The first is Joannes Amos Cominus, who wrote the first picture book in 1658. It was a book with images from the world. The second is John Newbery, for which the Newbery Medal for Authors was named. He established the first publishing company that was almost exclusively for children's books. Randolph Caldecott is third. He was an English illustrator who perfected the unification of text and illustration. The Caldecott Award for Illustrators is named after him. Caldecott allowed illustrations to interpret and extend the text beyond what the, world, the word implied. Theodore Seuss, or as we know him, Dr. Seuss, is considered the most famous and innovative writer of easy readers. He strove to provide interesting stories for beginning readers instead of the mo monotonous stories previously written. Early childhood books have to be appropriate for young children by using an easier form and content. Toy books are typical clock, vinyl, and thick board books that use simple illustrations to display the story. They tend to be 8 to 10 pages long in depth. Toy books use labeling and manipulatives such as pop-up books to convey their story. Concept books are books that typically convey knowledge by describing or using the meaning of concepts of the word. These books have themes such as the alphabet, numbers, colors, shapes, and opposites. Alphabet books are the oldest and most popular concept books seen by preschoolers. These books typically tie a letter of the alphabet to an object. They may use techniques such as sounds of languages, rhyme schemes, and themes. Counting books are books that have a mathematical concept with an action-oriented theme clearly show a number or, or numbers along with easily identifiable objects in order to have students count throughout the book. Wordless books use pictures and the artistic feats to make stories intriguing, understandable, and satisfying. These books are meant to use students' imagination and creativity in order to interpret the story. The students can explore possibilities, look for clues, and practice storytelling. Picture books with minimal text. These books are related to wordless books. The story is told through the use of illustration, but contain keywords in the text. These books use emotions to convey the minimal text, all while using plots that are clear in the reading. Beginning readers' books are used to help children read independently by using predictable formats and controlled vocabulary. Predictable books use high structure and repetitive text in order to create independent readers. Since these books are predictable, they serve as motivation and provide great satisfaction to the readers. These books use rhythms and rhymes, patterns, or simple story structures. Easy readers. These books are the first books that students read independently. They use a formula that includes a generous amount of illustration, a number of words, types of words, and a sentence structure. Some easy readers may be more advanced to meet the needs of the child's development. These more advanced easy readers may be longer and use more complex words. Picture storybooks are books in which the text and the illustration work together to amplify each other. Part of the story is told through the text and part of the story is told through illustrations. There are many more picture storybooks than any other type of picture book. Teaching examples. American Colonies, Ox Cart Man. You could use this book to introduce colonist life to students at the beginning of a unit. Bullying, one. You could use this to teach emotions, empathy, numbers, and colors to students. You could also use this to teach students about bullying. The Rainbow Fish. You could use this to teach emotions. How sharing is important and being rude won't get you anywhere. 
Picture books can be used in any grade or content area. Picture books are not just for little kids.